All right, Shalom. Shalom. First of all, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach us the truth and rule well. And salutation, peace, love, and blessing to the hopeful elect, those who are sincerely hastening the day that Yahweh Shai comes and delivers his elect, the elect of Israel, which are so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as those who are scattered abroad. Yahweh Shai, our, our Messiah, our Savior, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. He's going to come and save the elect while destroying our enemies, right. which are these heathens, those who have us in captivity right now, beginning with Esau Edom, who is a so-called white man. Mm -hmm. Going to deliver us from all the lands which has scattered his elect, Lord, we're going to be of that number, you know, and mainly from America, which is Babylon the Great in the Scriptures, man. And we've seen all these things, all the prophecies that, that's leading up to that day of the Lord come to pass. So the topic of this video is, is exhortation. Hey, man, get on the chariot. For those of us who believe, and we say that in all humility, and we say that knowing it's Lord willing, because it's up to Yahweh Shem Yahweh He knows who his elect is, and right. it's all predestination. But for those of us who believe in the names of Yahweh Shem Yahweh who ministering in his truth, who looking forward to these days, that's that's what should be ruling our minds. Not not anything else. Not not BS. Not not anything in this world. Not not things of this flesh. But doing what we got to do to get on the chariot, man, when Yahweh shot come to be saved, to be delivered, man. Right. You know, so that the Most High, he does show mercy upon us. And the scriptures talk about working out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know, so it's a way you can work it out, right. you know. But we're going to jump into the scriptures, man, because that is a salvation that's coming. That's what we look forward to. And that's why our mind should be upon. Right. Not, oh. hey, the scriptures say, hey, uh, your eye, let your eye be seen. That's right. And really, like the Lord is telling you, simplify this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now obviously, we'll, we'll, uh, the scriptures speak about um, give diligence to make that call of election sure. Mm -hmm. like the brother mentioned it. So that means there is a way to make sure that you're delivered. Okay, and the scriptures also say put on as the elect. Uh -huh. You know, now, like obviously, this is all via Yahweh by Hashem Shai, but there are certain things that we still have to do. Okay, mm -hmm. and if your mind is set on Look, at the end of the day, man, you need to get on the chariot. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's chariot or bust. Okay? All right. We know what's coming. We, we they're, they're in talks about, they're actually mentioning nu nuclear war. Right. <laughs> you know, Biden just said today, look, hey, if Putin does this or does that, then the consequences will be vain. Fulfilling what we've read in the scriptures, man. All right. So the closer and closer we get to this thing, your mindset got to be, look, man, none of this shit don't matter, bro. Right. We got to get on the chariot because right. we know what's coming. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah man. Bro. Hey, it's uh, First Thessalonians chapter 4, and I started at verse 16 because this is that salvation. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. And this is talking about the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, right. the one who died on the cross for our sins. Yahweh Shai is his name, man. You know, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He died for our sins. He rose from the dead and he went up into the heavens. And that's not the end all be all. We know that he's coming again. And as the scripture says in Revelation chapter 22, behold, I cometh quickly. So how much more now when they, like like the brother Karab was just saying, they talking about the nukes, <laughs> which are the arrows um, mentioned in the Bible, man. Right. You know, the Lord swore bathing in heaven. That's those nu nuclear missiles that they making threats about right now, man. Yep. You know? But this is going to be that salvation when Yahweh shall come with his chariots, which the world calls UFOs, man, and with his angels. And at that day, when the destruction is going down, and it says the dead in Yahweh shall, shall die, I mean, shall rise first. Mm -hmm. So those who are in this truth, who believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and they died in the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they're going to be risen up. That's right. You know? In verse 17, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. And that's what we're looking forward to, man, to being caught, being caught up in the clouds, man. And the scriptures tell you in the, in, the, in the book of Psalms, you know, that he make it the clouds his chariot, man. That's those so-called UFOs. And that's the salvation of Israel. Let me read this verse again. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. 
Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, man. And that's that's what our eyes are supposed to be on, man. Salvation, deliverance, and being with our Lord, man. You know? If the, you got that spirit upon you, that's that's the spirit that Yahweh Bashem Shai has put upon you. Exactly. And we pray you keep that spirit upon us, man. So to be looking forward to the, to these prophecies, we're really looking forward to that salvation as promised, man. Right. No more shall it be said, the Lord liveth that bought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But it shall be said, the Lord liveth that bought the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, out of the land of the north, man. Right. You know, which is North America, which is going to be where the main deliverance is going to be, as well as all the lands which, which he has driven us afar, afar off, man. Yeah. This is that great salvation we're looking forward to, man. And, it, and it's, it's worth more than anything, no comparison, man. Hey, to the point where I said it shall no longer be said. The right. Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. That's right. And that was marvelous, you know. But the, the, the salvation that's coming this time, and when you sit back and look at it, the scriptures say what they say. It say mm -hmm. this place is going to be pelted. With 200,000, thousand, right? You know, warheads. nuclear warheads for real. You know, so when you <laughs> sit back and look at it and analyze, only way out is up, right? And the scriptures say that. So, what are we focused on, right? It got to be how about Shemi Alshad, these scriptures being in this word, groaning, praying, repenting, That's it. Whatever, whatever it is, fighting mm -hmm. and keep and keeping on fighting, you know, examining thyself. Keep on pushing. Keep on the things that you have been doing um, um, right. Keep on doing them, man. Because at the same time, the salvation is coming and the destruction is coming as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Simultaneously. And it, this is all Yahweh Shai is doing. Mm -hmm. So common sense will tell you what. Like the scripture say. This is uh, Isaiah 26 and 20. It reads, Come, my people, enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Right. So that shows you the agenda of Yahweh Bashim Shah. He coming back for destruction. Mm -hmm. And our Lord been sitting patiently, you know, uh, uh, waiting on the Heavenly Father to give him the okay to come back and exact judgment. Okay? Because mm -hmm. really, you know, of course, uh, like it says in Revelation 1 and 7, you know, he's coming back with vengeance. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's taking. He's going to take wrath against those that pierced him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So this this is a little get back and get my lick back type. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than us. Now, but the scripture tell us what? I read it again. It says, come, my people, and enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And the scriptures tell us, look, the curses and the judgment that's coming, that's for the wicked. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So those of you that hear this, that have eyes to see, it is to hear. Get in that. Hide yourself. Right. You see, plain and simple. Hide yourself, cause the Lord come and do. He a hey, declare the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The things that are written in these scriptures, hey, all of them have and will come to pass. Mm -hmm. So your mindset should be, you know what? Let me get in this chamber, man. Right. Right. Which are the chariots, man? Right. You know. But right now, the hiding place is is truth. There you go. You know, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Matter of fact, I'm not going to butcher that <laughs> uh, <laughs> Psalm 91 real quick. And it's more on that too, man. It's one more verse. Come. But uh, just, just to get this while I'm quoting it. Yeah, Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. So you abide in the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is a secret place. A lot of people can't enter into this 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 club that we in, man. Right. You know? The, you know, we, hey, Lord willing, we, we, we the very important persons, VIP and righteousness, man. And that's what the elect is going to be. This is a small sanctuary, as the scripture says, man, to truly be searching and seeking and, and being showed the, the mysteries of the Most High, Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know? That's exclusive. That's exclusive as hell, bro. Yeah. We, we know the mysteries from the beginning. You know? Breakdowns. But not only that, faith. You know? Moving by faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, seeing these things come to pass, prophecies. You know, the Lord showing us, He shows us chariots, you know? He shows brothers and sisters dreams, give them visions, you know? And we in this body, this is a secret place, you know? Yeah. And, and what proves it, like the other possible boss uh, said from time to time, like, you gotta, you gotta be a little bugged out mm -hmm. to, 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 to believe in this, man. 
Yep. Okay, and when we're saying this with full faith and full understanding that that's the only way out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're actually saying, yes, we got to be beamed up like Scotty. Yes, you got to go on what the world calls UFOs. Right. Yep. And say it with, with full assurance. <laughs> full assurance. And can prove it through the scriptures, man. Okay, showing you ultimately that it's a gift from the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. But uh, back at uh, Isaiah 26 and uh, 21, it says, For behold, matter of fact, I read 20, and then we'll go straight through 21. It says, Come, my people, into thy, into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Verse 20, 21, For behold, Yahweh Shemel Shai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Mm -hmm. The earth also shall dis disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Okay, so that's big business, man. The Lord is coming back to exact judgment for all the wickedness that has been played out on the earth. Right, really since all time. Right. So you can imagine, that's why uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, a uh, time of Jacob's trouble like never before. And when you read these scriptures, Jacob been catching mm -hmm. hell, man. Mm-hmm. Going all going back to the times of the judges, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, uh, uh, Egypt. Right. You know, like right. we've been catching hell, but the Lord is saying none of that compares to the ass whooping that He's about to bring now. So you know, just keep it simple. Let's get out pop's way, man. Right. <laughs> you know, let's he get got out. a way out. He got a way out. Right. You know, let's remain. Let's remain with him. Mm -hmm. So when. He sent our redeemer, Yahweh, our big bro, to come save us. Lord willing, we be saved, mm -hmm. so we don't have to feel that indignation. Because this shit, it's this shit finna burn by fire. America is going to burn by fire from sea to shine to sea. This shit gonna be deadly, drastic, uh, uh devastating. You know, terrible, yeah. great, <laughs> all of that, gloomy, destructive, all over the earth. Really, the earth gonna reel to and fro like a drunkard. You gonna want to be in a chariot when that happens, man. So You're not gonna want to be down here. You can't. You can't you know? buy. It. <laughs> you know, it say in, in the key point. It says, the "Lord cometh out of His place." You see, to punish the inhabitants of the earth. Mm. That if that if that don't move you, then hey, something else will. You know, and that's what we're moving. We're moving with fear. All right. I say through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We teach men. That's right. You know, the Lord. Hey. We can't, really, we can't even put it into words. We read it over and over the same prophecies. Mm -hmm. We teach it. But we really, we still can't put it into words, you know? But, hey, the scriptures is enough. When you hear this, the Lord coming out of his place, what uh, what manner of conversation are you to be? In? Right. You know? <laughs> is it? Right, man. Matter of fact, let me get this in Revela Revelation 18. Mm -hmm. Start at 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen, is fallen, yep. and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird, man. And the vision was already seen by Apostle St. John. And Babylon, the great, is America. You're not going to see, you're not going to find the name America in the scriptures, man. America is prophesied, and it was, it's Babylon the Great, man. You know? Verse 3, and, and, and it's already, it's fallen. It's already written. It's going to happen. All of this shit that we see day in and day out, this shit finna burn. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> so don't be attached to this shit. You know? Verse 3, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed, have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right. That's that's describing America, man, in their economy and their trade with all of these different nations. And having all of these nations really subdued up under them. They all trade for, for oil, not with gold, but with what? The, the petrodollar, man. You know? So verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. That you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Hmm. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High has remembered her iniquities. So, the, hey, look, the Lord got it out for America. Yeah. You won't want to be found being like an American when the Lord comes, man. You know? 
and that hour of temptation is going to come in which the MOTB is going to be pushed, right now is the time to be cleaving unto your how about Shemiah was shy and really coming up out of this place mentally and spiritually. So when your was shy literally comes, we come up out of this place literally, man, right. you know, into them chariots, man. So we so we don't have to taste what the Lord got for America. The Lord finna smite this shit, man. And even before the chariots come, it's going to be hella judgments upon this place, man. Plagues like ancient Egypt, which the Lord promised he's going to give unto this place, man. Pursuing to the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16, you know. Uh, Micah chapter 7, as the coming out of Egypt shall the Lord show us marvelous things, man. You know. So the Lord is going, the Lord is going to smite this place. So we want to be with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on his side, man. Right. You know. Because that's, hey, that's the narrative. It's time for the, that remnant that the Lord promised to, uh, who that was, uh, Elijah, that, that she would never bow that knee to Baal. Right. It's time for that remnant to be delivered, man. Because really, that, that's the feel-good part of this story. And you know what would suck? Like, for you to be an Israelite and, and for you to be destroyed, you know, when the Lord ultimately is coming to judge the heathens and deliver the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, like the scriptures say, no hand join him. And the wicked shall not go on punishment. You know? Oh, that, that's it on that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, let's get this. Since I quoted it, this Second Peter's, I want to start at the top, but we'll get to the point for time's sake. This Second Peter's chapter 3, and um, I'll start at 8. It said, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and as a thousand years as one day. You mm -hmm. see? So the Lord's given us that mindset of time frame. And ultimately, like the angel told Ezra, measure the time diligently within this, within ourself. Mm -hmm. When you see part of the signs past, then you know at the very same time where the highest shall begin to visit the earth that he made. Okay? Now, like in a, that's a righteous thing for you to want to have a mindset of when the Lord is going to return. Now, of course, like Yahweh Shah told the 12, it's not for you to know the times and seasons right. when the Lord will return. Why? Because he knows his people. Jacob bullshit all the way. If he said June right. 18th, Jacob bullshit all the way up to June 17th. Right. You know? So, nah, it, this is a test of faith. Right. You know? And, and, and the reality is, why not get ready now? Right. And be ready when, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because even though the Lord said no man going to know the, the hour, you know, he did give a whole bunch of prophecies. Right. <laughs> it's a whole chapter. <laughs> Matthew 24 and, and more. Luke 21. He, he gave a whole bunch of prophecies. You know, of when you should know that he's getting ready to come, right. to be ready, to have to have your your oil with your lamps, man. Right. Trimming. You know? And 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 we can boldly proclaim that we're living out Ezekiel 38 right now. Mm -hmm. It's on the news. Yep. It's all over the news. <laughs> uh, 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 Putin said he's sending, he's, he's not ruling out sending troops to Venezuela and, and to Cuba. Hey, the scriptures say that um, Gog and Magog is supposed to be a guard to them. Right. That's what's happening it right now. It says with Persia with them. The Iranian, Iranian. He said something today. The prime minister, president, whatever you call him, he, uh, he said something publicly about joining with Russia. And we already know they're in cahoots. They've right. been in cahoots. Right. But they say it more publicly now, man. Yep. You know, more and more. So, you know, and, and, and not only to come together, but to come together against America. America. Babylon the Great. You know, these are times we in. All the, all the fuck shit, whatever it is, bro. Fuck the, fuck, fuck the shit. shit. This world, the, the, the flesh, you know, the, 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 hey, man, win your battles, win your fights so you can get on a chariot, man. That's it. You know? Sim sim simplified, hey, scripture speak about the simplicity that mm -hmm. is in your house shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't, don't, don't make this thing bigger than it already is. You know? Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Do what the scriptures say and get your ass on the chariot, man. Right. Lord willing, you have, Lord willing we have the elect. We right. say that in all humility. All humility, man. You know? But that's, hey, it's that or bust. It's that or death. Mm -hmm. You know? Ain't no other alternative. But back in our second Peter 3 and 8, it says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Verse 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And we, we praise him for that. Because one of his promises, you know, outside of destroying uh, uh, Babylon the Great from sea to shining sea, is that he shall not utterly destroy the whole house of Jacob. Right. That's that's his promise. Right. You see, it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, 
but is long suffering to us, what you see, mm-hmm. not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And all mm-hmm. who? The elect of the nation of Israel. Right. That was his promise. And he also promised that two thirds of our people on this side are going to be cut off and die. Mm-hmm. You see, it's two sides. There's a dichotomy to his promises, man. Okay. What side are you, 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 you hasting after, man? Or you love, you thirst after. What's on your mind? You should you should have the helmet of salvation. There you go. You know, not things in this world, and not and not doubt either, man. You know, that's another thing that needs to be totally tucking away too in these times, man. Get that doubt shit. Look, man, fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Believe, and, and and we don't fight as one that beateth the air, man. You know what I'm saying? You in this truth, you calling upon the name of Yahabashmi Yahushai. You do that in all faith and believing, man. You know, mm-hmm. that hey, you still got breath to serve the most high to, to call his name. And every day you get up, man, do what you got to do to get on the chariot. Yeah. You know, because the reality is you're going to make it or you're not going to make it. Right. So why are you complicating? Why? There's there's there ain't no gray area. That And that's we, we got to praise the Lord for that. That there ain't no gray area because then that leaves room for doubt. Don't doubt. Right. Don't think about making it. There you go. <laughs> it's, a, it's been, you know, it's this is time to 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 have full assurance of faith. Think about making it. Yep. Of course, you're gonna have thoughts and things going different fights. You're gonna come towards you. That's Satan's job. And that's what the left hand spirits. That's what that's what they for. You know, and they gonna do their job. But you make sure that you lead with a helmet of salvation, getting up on the chair, meditating upon the kingdom, meditating upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to live you in these times, man. Because all the other shit going to come at you. You still going to have to fight until you get up right, out of here. Right. But you need to be fighting with with, with, a, with the with the, with the the armor uh, of these scriptures, man, of the Lord. You, go. you know, but you got it. In 2 Peter 3 and 10, it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What's that great noise? The mm-hmm. thermonuclear holocaust that's coming, along with the chariots, man. Mm-hmm. You see, that's going to happen. <laughs> so you know what side are you on, man? And, and, and it, like it, everything within this walk starts with the mentality. Okay, mm-hmm. where's your like the brother just said? What you got that helmet of salvation on? Right. You see, it says, uh, "But the dead Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm-hmm. The earth also and the works that are therein." Shall be burned up. This is a guarantee. This is not optional. This is not something that the Lord might repent of. No, He declared it. It's written. And like the other apostle uh, Taha always say, when we read these scriptures, man, we read the same prophecies over and over in the book of Daniel, Isaiah, Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. All we're doing is hearing these same prophecies over and over and over and over again. And we got to thank the Heavenly Father for that. Why? Because He's trying to etch in our minds. Right. We need to, we need to, we need to Sir. Right. Fuck all that other shit. Right. All in love. You know what I'm saying? Nick knack, patty whack. Right. No. <laughs> do what the fuck you need to do, man. Cause right. I'm coming. Right. So we get out of my way. So so we could be with our Lord. There you go. You know, for one to miss the miss the destruction that's coming because you fear the Most High, but you want to be with your Lord on, in that day, man. Mm-hmm. You know, like Peter said. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Apostle Paul. He said. You know, is it, we rather be absent from the body, right. but look, what than to be present with the Lord. But you know, it's lawful for us to teach this word. But Paul, you know, basically said, "Look, it's be better. It's better Lord. to be with the Lord." But we got the Lord coming, right? We'll be in the flesh and be with the Lord, right? So we can praise Him too, because you can't praise Him in the grave with new bodies. Actually, there you go. Not this flesh. There you go. Slide. With new bodies, like your house shots, changing the twinkling of an eye with an everlasting, miraculous salvation, man. Mm-hmm. A strange salvation that the heathens gonna see it. This is what we want. Right. While nuclear missiles coming down at the same time, pelting the Amer- pelting America, pelting the different places upon the planet Earth, seeing the Earth real to and fro like a drunkard, man. But we up there with our Lord, man. That's what that's what it's all about. You know, and and as as you say, uh, Yashallah shall do valiantly. That's valiant, bro. Right. Like, who, who you don't want to be a part of? Like, you should want to be a part of that. Uh, of course, we in, in hey seeking out our uh, salvation with fear and trembling. Of course, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like, I, I, I want to 
be in that lot, man. I want to see the Lord. I want to meet the Lord in the sky. That should be your motivation. That's what the elect will, will be doing. That's what the, uh, you got it, brother. It's, it's more than that. Yeah, verse 11. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in? All holy conversation and godliness. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's the moral of the story. Sick of this shit, man. You know, we were just talking about that before we hit record, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of every aspect of this shit, man. The routine. You know what I'm saying? The wickedness that, like, the, the articles that are coming out and the wickedness that we're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis is unfathomable. You know? And, look, the, hey, our conversation is in heaven, man. The same mind that uh, uh, all the renowned men of the scriptures had, we have today, man. And we, we hate beholding wickedness just as the heavens do. So what are we doing? We're hastening the right. return of our Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, so we can get the fuck out of here, man, and, and and dwell in the kingdom of righteousness. That's right. And um, if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. But it ain't wrong. But it ain't wrong. It ain't wrong. <laughs> you know, hey, um, give the Lord no rest till he makes Jerusalem a praise and the earth. Right. You know, that's the mindset to be in. Yep. You know, looking forward to... When the Lord set us back on top, man, we've been at, we've been at the bottom so much as a nation. You know, we at the bottom right now. Right. We done been on, on the bottom enough. We done been fucked up enough, man. You know, for the elect, let's not have to get fucked up this last time with the with the world. Lord, when we on that number? It's it's one more verse on that too. Enough is enough. Like you know, <laughs> that should be the mindset. Enough is enough. Wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Enough of us being in this 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 low ass estate, bro, and especially coming into this understanding of who you are, and you look around at these fucking heathens, bro, and you're like, man, man, you need to get in order, man. You need a rod of iron bent on your head, man. You know that should be the my ruling class mentality. Mm -hmm. You should be thinking kingly, man. Right. You know, cause hey, the Lord said what the nation of kings and priests, right, and moving that way right. too in all of our doings. You know, not only moving with humility and moving in the scriptures with prayer and all these different things uh moving wisely man being built up understanding more 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 understanding and knowledge of the scriptures you know and what and what this really about because it's the thing of mercy and at the same time we are being built up to rule as kings and priests and gods That's you it. know That's it. verse 14 it says where wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. Right. So that's what it's about, man. Shit about to pop off. Be diligent that we be found blameless and spotless. All the other shit. And Satan been on his on his job. He gonna yeah, be on his oh job. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know? But rebuke him. And tell him to flee in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Keep on doing what you gotta do to please the most high. You know, in all truth and in sincerity. Preaching the word. You know, studying reading, you know, trimming, you know, being a brother, being a, being charitable, uh, being humble, being forgiving, forgiving, you know, all these different things, whatever it is, man, all the, all the, all the, all the, all fuck shit ain't allowed, man, we ain't got time for that, right. we gotta get on the chariot, trying to get on, trying to get saved, that's what we in, that's what, that's the point of us being in this truth, that's the point when we see chariots and we see videos about it, we give praise to Yahweh Shemi Shai because that's the salvation that we're hoping for. That's our way out. You know? Only way out. You know, we call them, that's the point of us calling on the names. That's our way out. Yeah. We trying to be saved, man. Not trying to be top 10 Israelite. You see it? You see what yeah. happened to yeah. niggas when they try to be top 10 Israelite, man? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. or, or, or trying to make themselves something that they're not, man. Yeah. When all you got to do, you don't have to be top 10. It's going to be 144,000 that's going to be joint air with your house shot. And a great multitude. Like, right. What are, you, what, are you, right. what are you playing the numbers game? Man? Right. Well, look, man. You, hey, 144,000? That You're going to be 144,000 forever. Right. Like, it's going to be trillions and trillions and trillions, gazillions later on in the kingdom Israelites. Right. But you part of that 144,000. You know? Yeah. So, man, I'm back 
back up that scripture with um this in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. It says, What for seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, and that great a cloud of witnesses is our is our ancestors, our forefathers. The men who in Hebrews chapter 11, by faith, did all of these different things that and it was counted unto them for righteousness. Yep. You know? So, rough for seeing, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses like Abraham and Moses and Joseph and Jephthah and Samson and so forth and so on. Samuel. You know? Samuel. You know? <laughs> David. Right. The prophets. You know? Judges. You know? Let us lay aside every weight in the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, man. You know, and that's what we've been supposed to be doing, and that's what we especially supposed to be doing right now. Seeing these, hey, shit popping off. Lay aside every weight, things that 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 can hinder you or, or harm you from getting on the chariot. Lay it aside. You know, when we still in this flesh, we still the scriptures say use the world, not abusing it. Yeah, you with wisdom, but whatever weight coming up against you, and it, it could be a thought, it could be a thought process, this could be evil suspicion, whatever the fuck it is, man. Lay that shit aside, man. And the sin which, uh, which does so easily beset us, man. And let us run with, with patience the race that's set before us. The Lord already got it placed before us. He already got our fight before us. You know, brother, so many years up in this truth how, how have it been. And you got the things that you know, hey, you know that you got to fight. So let's, let's go. Let's run this race. Yep. Verse 2. Looking unto Yahawashai, the often finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. So let's do what we got to do. Enduring our cross, taking up our cross daily, man. Giving our bodies up as living sacrifices. Lord, when pleasing unto the Most High, man. Right. You know, doing what we got to do. I know, hey, sometimes brothers be tired. Brothers go through different things. But you pray to Yahweh Shemi Shah, and he's our strength to keep us going from day to day, man. You know, and not just from day to day, from glory to glory, yeah. going up Jacob's ladder, you know, because the Lord want us to run this race till we finish, till we finish it, man. And we're going to be and be found blameless, spotless, yeah. built up, yeah. purified, mm -hmm. you know, that's how the elect going to be purified through the furnace of affliction and adversity, the different trials that we go through, man. You know, it purifies us every day, you know, and the Lord is seeing that and that keep on being the case. Going to end up up there looking down at the sea of glass mingled with fire. That's it. You know? Hey, the scriptures say you join ears. Mm -hmm. Fulfill that, you know? Of course, we need the Lord to do so, but we're going to be putting on that Z leg in the meantime. That's right. Okay, I got one. You, you finish yeah, that's what's up. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all proud. Yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushah of hosts, that I shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, so we we, we read it a few times now, and, and, and it's all throughout the scriptures. Like I just mentioned, that what the elder apostle Tal always saying, we read the same prophecies over and over and over. This is speaking about the day of the Lord. You see, um, it says, um, uh, Verse 2, but unto you that fear my name, okay, showing you the importance of the name, okay, it says, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Mm -hmm. Message. What is it? What is his wings? The chariots. That's right. You see? And and that's really what we focus on. We need, we need to be healed, man. We sick. Right. We sick. And then what makes you even sicker? Is waking up to the fact of who you are and how you sinned against the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. which makes you humble and contrite, but yet still have to bear bear the burden and the indignation of the Lord. Right. While focusing on salvation. Right. You see, but the comfort is, read it again. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. What yeah. star? Yahweh by Shemyal Shai star. Now Esau stall, which is uh, the raisins of the be service and work us to the bottom. The scriptures say he shall wear out the saints. Right. 
fuck that. You know, how should I say? Put on my yoke. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which means, hey, work. Occupy till I come. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what we're doing. Right. And if you're focused on doing your task now, you ain't really got time to be soaking in water. No. Right. Grind this thing out. The harvest is great. The sugar labor is right. a few. Right. Grind this thing out. And then next thing you know, look up. Right. Redemption draw up. Being up. Endure to the there end. You go. That's even, it. even when even our temptation, we pray the Lord keep his spirit upon us. Even if we brought before governors and rulers. Hey man, America's still gonna be burned. You know? Mm-hmm. We you know, we know the judgment for taking the MOTB, you know. So we gotta endure to the end, you know, so we can be beamed up and then yeah, the Lord give give you rule over ten cities. Which which could mean ten planets, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord will go prepare a place for us and he coming back so we could be where he is, man. Verse 3, it says, I will stop it there since you mentioned that. It says, And ye shall tread down the wicked, mm-hmm. for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. Mm-hmm. And the day that I shall do this, say of your how about you now mm-hmm. shine host. So that's that's the mindset too. And you know, when you first come into this thing, like, mm, pay back on you fucking heathens, man. But really, you know, more than that, getting rid of wickedness. Getting right. rid of the earth of wickedness. That's, right. that's the focus, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be, being delivered, first and foremost, uh, avoiding the indignation of the Lord. And then Satan, cleaning this shit up, man. Right. Enough Getting the earth enough, right. man. Because if you believe you're Israelite, the, the earth is made for us. Right. It's ours. Right. <laughs> you know? Dirtying this shit up, man. You know? You know? Lord, when we, we the son, we are we the children of the Most High. You know? So this is uh, this is our earth, man. It's meant for us to rule under Yahweh Shah, man. Lord, when we the elect. You know? So here's a prayer. Prayer to King David said, you know, Psalm 139, verse 23. Yes, Search me, O power, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And the Lord does that, man. He put us in different situations to, to, to search our reins and to know. He, and the Lord knows everything about us, man. And it's really to, to reveal things to us, things that we need to work on. Mm-hmm. Verse 24 says, and see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting, man. It is. You know, that's the spirit to be in. Mm-hmm. We want Yahweh Bashmi Shai, whatever it is to take it away. Whatever it whatever the fuck it is, you know, to take it away, that whatever wicked way be in us and lead us in the way everlasting. The the way of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, serving him right now, even in the in, in this wicked and perverse um land, um, amongst these wicked and perverse people, man. Serving the Most High, and in the times to come, still standing stiffly, even when we persecuted for His name. Right. You know, any wicked way in us, take it out. Any, any lust, any, 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 any doubt, Malice. any pride, whatever it is, man, all of that shit out, 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 out. You know, right? Because, like we mentioned when we first opened up, it's about simplifying your walk, mm-hmm. and really, it, it's, it's, the Lord deals with balances. So, on one side of the scale is salvation, mm-hmm. right? And on the other side is everything else. Nothing, like the scripture say, what shall uh, pull us away from the Lord? What prepare for it? Mm-hmm. Romans 8, you know what I'm saying? Shall it be tribulation? None of that. You put that shit on the scale all together, it don't weigh up. It don't measure up right. to salvation. So, salvation salvation weighs weigh, weigh the most. Right. All, none of that shit matters. And that should be the mindset. Right. You know, moving forward, does is this conducive to my side? Right. Does, does this have, nah, right. fuck it, fuck it, trim it, right. constantly trim it, because this way of life that we live in is a facade. The, the preacher said that all is vanity, mm-hmm. all is vanity. Why? Because it's not the kingdom of heaven, okay? And that should be the mindset moving forward. If this shit ain't got nothing to do with me getting on the chariot, fuck it. Fuck it. <clears throat> if, you know, if it's trying to come in between me. Getting on the chariot, fuck it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, Revelation, I'll, I'll end it with this. Oh. Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High, which we prophesied. We faithfully prophesied that the Lord about to judge this shit. Week in and week out. Verse 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass. And that's talking about looking down at the earth, man, looking down at the atmosphere, seeing the, the sea and, you know, seeing all these lands. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw it as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. 
and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark, which is over Esau's system, right. you know, and the mark is is what? The MOTB, the mark of the beast, the the the, the chip that they're coming with, you know? Karagma. The Karagma. Mm -hmm. And over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on a sea of glass, having the harps of the most high. Having come on, man, that's hey, you can't hey, you don't want to miss that. We don't want to miss that. And we pray to Yahweh Shemi Yahweh that we don't. The leg is going to be beamed up in the chariot when Yahweh Shah comes and looking down at the earth. Bro, we grew up in the we grew up in the hood. Right. You know? We grew up eating potato chips and shit from the corner store yep. and quarter juices and shit. Yep. We talking about being out of space, looking down at it. Looking down at earth, bro. Holding our enemies. Come on. Seeing fire, this gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing freaking sight, man. It's only gonna happen one time. You know? Verse two. Well, I'm gonna read the end of verse two uh, and then go into verse three. It says and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints, who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name. For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest, man. We we won't we gotta be in the chariots, man. We gotta be up there. And I say that in all humility and in hope, you know, praying to the most high that he does that, that we up that number. So that's what we gotta fight for, man. Right. Even when shit when it's down to the wire and he saw come and certain brothers kicking your door, or whatever it may be, you know, hey, we fighting to get up in that chariot and we know what comes with it. A a crown. A beautiful crown from the hands of our Lord Yahweh Shah, you know, and palms, you know, and slaves and heathens, you know. Life everlasting. There we go. Come new on, new bodies. Focus, brothers. Hey, I'm speaking to myself first and mm -hmm. foremost. Focus. Let's go. The main focus is, a, is to remain focused. That's it. You know? <laughs> That's it. I like that. That's it. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, so with that, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach us the truth and rule well. And salutation, peace, love, and blessing unto the hopeful elect Yahweh Shai by Hashem, 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 Yahweh Sh